Channel 38 News, the only news at 11.17. Tonight on Channel 38 News, the only news at 11.17, we speak to one of the hostages who was recently held at gunpoint. We ask if people keep getting held, robbed, and forced at gunpoint, then why do they return? Find out the answer tonight on Channel 38 News, the only news at 11.17. And in our special investigation, Channel 38 News, the only news at 11.17, looks at a deep and dark secret lurking in our community. Baby rapist. For years, these pre-toddler mysteries have been terrorizing our community. We take a scientific look at what happens when trusting patrons and family are preyed upon by baby rapists and pounced with their unwanted advances. Baby rapists need to be stopped. Babies should know better than to rape people. Can anyone stop these rug munchers? Rug rats or rapists? Find out more about this disturbing story tonight on Channel 38 News, the only news at 11.17. Hello, I'm McLean Good. Yes, I did campaign for past four political elections, and yes, I did succumb to the demons of the feet, but I'm not here to talk about those demons. In recent years, the laws of marijuana have been, how you say, laid back. These days, the cops won't even shoot you for it. For years, this has been the rally call of the hippies. Now that the dopers get their Mary Jane, they have nothing to complain about. But how about us, good, hard-working Americans? What do we get out of this? Don't worry, folks. McLean Goodman's campaign of Republican bargaining is here. Like the good book says, eye for an eye. What I'm suggesting is we trade some of these new freedoms for old freedoms. Freedom for freedom. It's only fair, right? I think we deserve at least something in return. This is why I'm recommending we get laid back with another law. You know, to balance it out. Like discrimination. For years, us hardworking good Americans have not been able to express ourselves in the most fun way out there. Racism. I'm not saying we need to get mean. No lynching or anything like that. I'm just saying, how bad would things be if a racist Tuesday popped up on the calendar every so often? If I want to openly ridicule an entire race of people, I should be able to. This is America. Dopers get the dope. Racists should get the race. I'm McLean Goodman. And I approve this message. Paid for by the Campaign of Republican Bargaining. This is Blue Light Tonight. Blue Light Prices on Black Market Products. And here's your host, Gavin Mahoney. Hi people, I'm Gavin Mahoney. And I have a deal for you. 60 Second Frenzy. Today's 60 Second Frenzy is obviously a Nest Lab starter kit. Isn't that crazy? Like everything on Blue Lights 9, I have personally tested this product. You just put it all together, and before you know it, you're wondering why it's Thursday and why you're wearing a Montreal Expo jersey. And the 60 Second Frenzy. Begins for a crazy little price, which is $29.94, plus shipping and handling, this time saver and life enhancer can be yours. This meth lab starter kit comes with all the fixings. You get the glassware, you get the tubes, you get a lighter, and you get all of this. Wait. I don't even feel it. I don't even need to feel it. I'm okay. But it's $29.94. Everything you see will be yours. Again, folks, you get everything in this meth lab star kit. You get the glassware. You get the tubes. The lighter. You get it all. Let's take a collar. I know we don't take collars, but one of them might have pills. I'm so sick, bro. And we are out of time. If you snooze, 
you lose. But if you bought the best lap starter kit, you won't be snoozing for days. 60 second frenzy. Like all Blue Lights in our products, we cannot guarantee safety or return or that all pieces will be there. But we will try. And this is really hurting. It's crazy. Coming this summer. I don't trust people with accents or miles. He's crazy. He's smooth. He's crazy smooth. He is Geronimo Sexy. Coming this summer. Fact, Geronimo Sexy is trained in all forms of martial arts. Like pink. Jimmy Bond says, I wish I was this cool. Jamie Cameron says, mind blowing production. The acting is great, says Dee Dee Lewis. Mary Streep says, This reminds me of a wet dream I had, but only wetter. The greatest movie of all time, says Barry Obrama. That, drawn with sexy, speaks 17 different languages, 16 of them unknown. <laughs> My shadow, my only friend. I hate you. No, I hate you, shadow. I hate you. That, drawing on sexy top prints, how to cry. No, a medium or human or large. Oh, hold on. Call waiting. Oh. This is the present again. We need your help. Again? Let's make this quick. Fact, Geronimo Sexy doesn't need protection during coitus. He just firmly tells the wound, no. My modesty could be better. Geronimo Sexy. This summer. This week on Celebrity Cyberboy, what's not mean in the least in tears? It's just so tragic. Apparently, Michael J. Fox tried doing air quotes and flew away. Quentin Tarantino is so black that Julia Stiles wants to dance with him. Kesha does all of her shopping at Bed, Bath Salts, and Beyond. If Daniel Tosh was any gayer, he'd be sweating semen. Taylor Swift does not kiss and tell, but sadly, she does kiss and sing. Kathy Griffin looks like a zombie who just ate a cokehead. Snoop smokes so much weed that he thinks a chronic masturbator is a sex toy for stoners. Lindsay Lohan is getting her own U.S. postage stamp. If you lick it, it gives you herpes. If you try to send it away, it'll crash your car. Celebrity Cyberbully, the night it's gone. What up, though? It's my oldest broker. I'm not daddy. And I got to answer to all your problems. Are you tired of not getting attention for your naughty social media pictures? Are you a victim of awkward poses in the mirror? I just can't get the pictures I want in front of the mirror of myself on this camera. Ugh! You want both arms in the picture? Nah, why can't I get a picture of myself with both arms? 
Why so close? Wow, this picture is just too close. Is there any help for people like me? Don't worry, folks. Mac Daddy's got chill back. That's why today I'm presenting the Mac Daddy Naughty Photo to Go Go Service. That's right. The Mac Daddy Naughty Photo to Go Go Service. How about how it works is that whenever you're feeling naughty enough to take a picture for your internet friends, you just give me a little holler. I'll show up and take the picture for you. All you guys can do is just hit up my Patreon and I'll be there in a chip. Just show me what button you want me to press and uh, click. I'm a star, thanks to you, Mac Daddy. Just like that, you got yourself a new profile picture. Aw, oh, yeah. You get all this for just $7 and some gas money. That's right, folks. $7 and some gas money. The only rule is no dudes. I cannot stress this enough. It's the Mac Daddy Naughty Photo to Go Go service. Call now. Seriously, no dudes. Yo, yo, yo. It's your favorite Dutch rapper, Hans in the Hair. I'm here today to let y'all know about the biggest drop in Deutschland. If you're one down man or jam and player, then you know what's good with all my classic albums. After all, I've made seven. Hans in the Hair's Curious Hits Collection, Volume 3. We got all your favorite hits. How about that jam giddy upside your head? Then we got your lehi ho. There's Netherland knockers. Going, going, much. One for the ladies. Swiss hot tap holes like cheese. The thinker. I think we water Germany. Welcome to Dopenhagen. And the hit that keeps on bending. Wooden ducks don't give a quack. If you're breaking the ground, I'll be on an island. Ducks don't know. Ducks don't. Ducks don't give. Hans in the House, Curtis Hits Collection, Volume 3. We'll release the first two when we feel like it. Hans in the House, Curtis Hits Collection, Volume 3. In a store now. Tonight, and how about them bears? So, you know how like, every so often, uh, if you have a cable, like a uh, satellite or cable, they'll give you free movie channels? Yeah. Well, it just so happened it was free uh, Cinemax weekend, and you know what that means. Free Skinamax, yeah. So I, I turned it on, I wanted to kick it old school. I know that in today's modern landscape, uh, you can get online on your phone and get all the porn you'd like, but I wanted to kick it old school, so I was watching it, and I was trying to enjoy myself, and it was kind of boring, because it was all like you know, cookie cutter, blind women. Uh, so I turned the channel and came across some lady in a shower, it was artsy, and it was black and white, and I was like, wow, this is kind of nice. I was getting into it, I'm not going to lie, nothing to be ashamed about. And then out of nowhere, a Nazi soldier dropped gas into the shower. Then I realized I was masturbating to the Holocaust. So, how about them bears? Uh, uh. Tonight, and how about them bears? Tonight at 9.43. Hello, I'm McLean Good. After fighting a good fight, I've proven I just don't know when to quit. Even after losing the past four political elections, five recounts, and one very misfortunate shot and incident, I'm not done yet. For years, having good health and being able to get proper medical treatment was the right of the wealthy. Now us hard-working Americans have to wait in line with them. Now the hospitals are full of sick poor people. What gives? Because of this new freedom of free health care, poor people just live to be poor longer. But what about us, good, hard-working Americans? What do we get out of this? McLean Goodman's Republican bargaining campaign is the cure. For years, we've seen the liberals get their way. Now, that's not very fair. 
what I'm politely suggesting is that maybe we should ease up on this change stuff. If liberals are getting free health care, I think it's only fair to us good hard-working Americans get something in return. Like spouse abuse. Back in the day when my great-grandmother wouldn't listen, my great-grandfather was letting her know who the boss was. This fond tradition was passed down from my grandfather to my father. And then by the time it was going to be my tradition, they said it was bad. Now folks, I'm not saying you should just go hit women. That's just wrong, and it should be a crime. What I'm just saying is, if it is your wife, well, it is your wife. The real question is, if all these hospitals are going to be full of sick poor people, then what's the big deal about a few more bumps and bruises? If you're not going to let us hard-working Americans knock out health care, then let us hit our wives. I'm McLean Goodman, and I approve this message. Paid for by the campaign of Republican Party. What up, though? It's my oldest girl, the Mac Daddy. And I got the answer to all your problems. High five. Does this ever happen to you? So, baby, you ever work back for a real job? Do you ever wake up pregnant? Mom, 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 Go back to bed, son. It's time for sleep. But, mom. You tired of little kids getting in the way of your super sexy adult time? I got your back. Mac Daddy's gonna answer to all your problems. That's why today I'm presenting Mac Daddy Enterprises. Eat the bear. Eat the bear. Cause Teddy Bear, King Charles, want to love at home. But I know what you're thinking. But what's the big deal, Mac Daddy? Teddy bears are just toys, right? The trick is in the stuffing. You eat the bear stuffing and soak in medium grade ether. This won't always cause brain damage to your child, but it will get you to get your hump on a little more frequently. Scientists say it's okay. Of course it is. It's from me, the Mac Daddy. And that means only one thing. The Mac Daddy guarantee. <sighs> They're crying. They're getting on the last nerve. A little too much for a babysitter. Well, Etherbear is the answer. Thanks, Mom. Thanks for Etherbear. No problem, son. Give him a hug. He loves you. I love Etherbear, too. Everyone loves the Etherbear. <laughs> It's just that easy. Super sexy fun adult time. All thanks to the Ether Bear. Today's introductionary rate is three payments of more or less nine dollars. By your child's new best friend and your wingman today. Call now. Channel 38 News. The only news at 1117. <clears throat> Tonight on Channel 38 News. The only news at 1117. We speak to the family of Mr. Echoes. The mind who tragically suffocated when no one believed he was really trapped in a glass box. The police are still looking for the culprit, but none of Mr. Echo's peers will speak up. We find out more details tonight on Channel 38 News, the only news at 1117. And in our special investigation, Channel 38 News, the only news at 1117, we take a look inside one of the questions that's been haunting us for years. Where's Waldo? The answer to Where's Waldo is in a cave in Belize. For years, we've been told to look out for this man. But today, the FBI released a statement that our government has tracked down and murdered Waldo. This is all thanks to second grader Marty Grant. He's right there. Find out what page he was on tonight on Channel 38 News. The only news at 1117. This is Blue Light Tonight. Blue Light prices on black market products. And here's your host, Gavin Mahoney. Hey people, I'm Gavin Mahoney, and I have a deal for you. 60 Second Frenzy. Today's 60 Second Frenzy is fresh off the back of the truck. It is the first ever time traveling device, the TomPod. Time traveling device? Really? We need a time travel, and we're gonna solve for these people? Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Time travel. And here's your host, Gavin Mahoney. Hey people, I'm Gavin Mahoney, and I have a deal for you. 60 Second Frenzy. The sun is going to explode. 
Jack save the world. All right, in a 60 second frenzy begins. We are selling this well changed device for only 99.74. 99.74? That's just too little. How about this? It's $999.98. Yes, folks, $999.98. We've seen movies about it and have thought the mere concept was crazy. The Tom Pod proves it all wrong. The Tom Pod. You just scroll through, pick the date, pick the location, hit send, and hi, people. When prosecution's legal, you should buy wholesale. Oh, oh, we're back. And we are out of time. Or are we? And we are out of time. It's gone. If you had a time pod, you could go back in time and buy another time pod. But without a time pod, you will never see your loved ones once they're gone. Isn't that crazy? Crazy, sad. 60 Second Frenzy. Like all Blue Lights and our products, we cannot guarantee safety. And in fact, anybody who buys uh, uh, I'm having crazy, I'm having crazy trouble breathing. Are there side effects to this? Is time travel approved? <laughs> this week on Celebrity Cyberboy, what's not mean in the least he cares. Is Nicki Minaj getting away with yellow face? Kim Kardashian's ass is made up of leftover Bruce Jenner face parts. Scarlett Johansson's chest is so talented. Charlie Sheen does so much blow that occasionally his coke man will chip in. Metallica is working on a new record. Hopefully it's the record for staying away the longest. If LeBron James loses any more hair, he's going to look like the black George Costanza. Lady Gaga's penis was actually bitten off by Richard Gere's gerbil. Only 40% of Pakistani women can read. The other 60% are Nickelback fans. Some people find Jay Leno funny. These people literally have to go on search parties, but they do eventually find Jay Leno at least three milliliters of funny a week. Celebrity Cyberbully, tonight at dawn. Hello, I'm McLean Goodman. After losing the past four political elections and being involved with not one, but two critically acclaimed sex scandals at the same time, you can safely assume I'm just like you, a good, hard-working American. Well, folks, this good, hard-working American has had enough. We used to be a proud country with reasonable rules for governing. Us good, hard-working Americans used to be able to live a good life because we were good, hard-working Americans. And those of lesser quality, well, they would live a life of lesser quality. What was the harm in that? When I was growing up a small American child, my parents thought the other thing thick and thin. Because that's what marriage is all about. But folks, let me tell you something. My parents were a man and a woman, not a man and a man. Marriage, as defined by Webster's Bible Dictionary, is when two people of opposite parts get together with express written permission from Major League Jesus. Because of this very dangerous new freedom trend, now a man and a man, or even a woman and a woman, can get married. Thankfully, the McLean Goodman's Republican bargaining campaign is here. It looks like they're going to get whatever they want. Sadly, we can't control that. But what I'm politely suggesting is, maybe we compromise a little. If they want to put something in, why can't we put something in? If they want to take something out, why can't us good hard-working Americans take something out? In and out, in and out. I'm just saying, what's wrong with a little give and take? Like how about unrestricted oil drilling? If we spent more time drilling for oil in new and uninhabited places, we wouldn't have time to care about who married who. But if we're all going to have to sit around bored not drilling for oil, then I just don't want to see it. 
we good hard working Americans have made our family money through oil. It's the foundation of our fortune and it fills up the gas tanks on all the fine automobiles we drive fresh off the American import lines. It's only fair, if they can drill who they want, we should be able to drill for what we want. I'm McLean Goodman, and I approve this message. Paid for by the campaign of opposing bargaining. Yo, 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 it's your favorite rapper, Hans in the Hair. I'm here today to let y'all know about the biggest job in Deutschland. Now for limited time only, my virtual producer Razor Roof and I are putting out Hans in the Hell's Greatest Collection Volume 3. Hans in the Hell's Greatest Hits Collection Volume 3. Yeah boy, it's Hans in the Hell's Greatest Hits Collection Volume 3. We have all your favorite gems on this piece, son. Your girlfriend's favorite. Holla holla holland that wood trees please my end from when the left the villa I'll cut your trees down. JT called and wants to sample that ish. I'm morally satisfied and that's okay. Trust me on this. Jesus is my auto tune. And the song I wrote about my dead beef, which I've picked. It was me and her, and we. Geeks is on the rise. Then the bitch died. Hans and Hell's Curious Hits Collection, Volume 3. Hans and Hell's Curious Hits Collection, Volume 3. Store now. What's up, Bill? It's Nova The Mac Daddy. And I got the answer to all your problems. I'm a hug. Don't you hate when you hate yourself? I'm so out of shape. I hate myself. No need for the hate. The Mac Daddy's heard from friends of friends that a lot of people have body issues. Muffin tops are the best part of a muffin, but the worst part of a woman. But what can we do? None of those late night commercials work for anyone! You've seen those Shake Weight commercials and you left. We all did, Matthew. These movements aren't torn anyone's arm, but the dude watching at home. Then what can we do? Mac Daddy's pelvis sizer exercise. Is that how you got in such great shape? Yup. But how? It's a pelvis sizer exercise. It just goes on the waist, and it's weighted system in the front. Hold it down. But then when you just pose and pivot, pose and pivot. And before you know it, a few rounds of this a day, and your midsection will be a thing of the past. So you basically pose and pivot? Yeah, you just pose and pivot. <laughs> Doing good. If you use a pose size or exercise like four hours a day, seven days a week, then with a little bit of hope and a little bit of elbow grease, you can look this good. Today we're just asking $14 and into OB and TV bond. I'm not picky. Which is fourteen dollars and any two opiates you can find. I'm not just a spokesman. I'm also paid to use it. Call now. This week on Celebrity Cyberboy, what's not mean in the least in years. Barbara Walters is so old, she celebrated her hundredth birthday by interviewing Jesus. The best thing Ryan Reynolds was ever in was Scarlett Johansson. Kelly Osbourne looks like a deflated Miss Picky puppet. The only thing less funny and out of touch than Dane Cook is Dane Cook jokes. Shit. I don't care what anybody says, Kevin Hart was great as Webster. Tina Fey is hilarious. For a girl. Imagine how much weight Cameron Nicole Smith has lost on trim spot of A. David Spade looks like an aging lesbian magician. Poof, unfunny. Celebrity Cyberbully, the night is gone. Tonight, and how about the embarrassed? I sometimes write Sex in the City fanfiction. In my mind, Miranda's an astronaut. You know all those dinosaurs on the Flintstones? The dinosaurs? They all died a horrible, horrible death due to extinction. Uh... 
How about them bears? <laughs> and I said handwriting as opposed to foot writing? <laughs> How about them bears? I was always too claustrophobic to learn how to hula hoop. How about them bears? I call my hands William and Shatner. I wipe with Shatner. Underwear is a rhetorical question. How about them bears? I hate ghosts so much that sometimes I'll get naked and hump the air just in case I might rape one of them. <clears throat> How about them bears? If you put lube on a dolphin, it will fly. That what? Huh? How about them bears? Doesn't even make sense. If a snowman throws a snowball, I think it should be sexual harassment. How about them bears? We all know about Antarctica, but what about Uncle Antarctica? I'll sometimes go to bookstores and cough on all the books about germophobia. <laughs> How about them bears? <laughs> Do narcissistic pedophiles masturbate to their own baby pictures? How about them bears? Tonight, and how about them bears? Tonight at 9.43. Uh-huh.